So like you like you're you like card games. You like drawing games as well, right? Yeah, they're quite fun. I like I like a bit of um, I like a bit of like Cards Against Humanity, Gothic, yeah. like and those like kind of things. Fun. I like sitting down with some friends, playing some games. But like you know, the one big thing that I often feel is like, why haven't I got my cock out? Like that's the big that's the only big big downside to all these things is that my dick's always firmly hidden away, whilst we yeah, play. Yeah, it's true. These games they hinder me from. I'm just like, you know, just whipping it out. Well, wouldn't you wish there was a card game that allowed you to draw your friends naked? Gee whiz, I would. <laughs> oh boy, have we got the project for you. This is Dude to Nude. <laughs> dude to Nude. Sorry. <laughs> the name alone is just... You've, you've, you've fucked it from the get go. Like, I love this. It's, it's, it's like, I've heard of male to female trans, but I've never heard of Dude to Nude. It's like, I'm trans clothed. <laughs> What does that even mean? What? If 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 you're a dude, you're wearing clothes. I don't I don't like the name dude to nude. No. Shall we play the video? What, what happens if you don't want to draw a dude? Like, do you have to draw everyone as a dude? <laughs> like, is everyone just a dude in this game? Well, I mean, I I personally quite like the term dude as a gender neutral term. Personally, oh, you, I'm not one of these dude and dudette things. Anyway. Let's play three, two, one. For any event, <laughs> birthday parties, weddings. Wait, he's not nude. Become a dude to nude champion. Like nobody, how brave are you? They're not actually naked though. Okay, but that the whole point though is that you're naked. But it, you it, you're choosing your level of nudity. So there's the green is easy, so like you don't need to take your clothes off. Like yellow is like semi, and then red is like you're gone. Is that what the thing? That's what they're trying to say. That I feel so cheated by this because like technically every game I've ever played, I've choose my nudity. Like you could play Cards Against Humanity with your dick out if you wanted to. You don't. <laughs> You choose your level of nudity with everything. God damn it. Yeah. I... Hmm. I don't think you need this game. If, you, if this is a game, if this is something that you really, really want to play, I don't think you technically need to go out and buy this. Yeah. So let's see. You could just, you could just <laughs> play this over, like, Zoom and it would just be just as awkward. <laughs> Next Discord call, <laughs> I reckon we'll do some dudes to nudes. Yeah, just... just... Everyone go on camera is like, all right, now do this pose, <laughs> and then you choose your you choose your level. I mean, you don't need to grab the cards; you just choose hell. Like, I mean, like this isn't the kind of game you play around new people, right? Like, this is only something you could ever play around people that you know well enough. Like, just like, hi, nice to meet you. My name's my name's Neon. Oh, hi, nice to meet. You. All right, well, now I'm gonna do the backwards fisherman now, and I just fucking strip down to nothing. It's like, draw me. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure, it's make not... sure to capture that scar there. <laughs> like, I think the thing is, part of me is thinking like it seems pretty, you know, pointless. Like, oh, you choose your own level of nudity. Like, oh, well, you know, that's just not. Any well, everyone's just gonna choose to be fully clothed. Yeah, but then <laughs> the alternative is actually worse. Where it's like, nope, you have to be naked. Yeah, that's that. Th th you then get into weird kind of non consensual, non consensual things. It's like there's not really a. Eh, you, you you play it with like a group of people that you don't normally hang out with, and everyone else will be having a great time until it's like that one person's turn, and then boom, it's like you're on Omegle. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and they're just like draw me, and everyone's like no. Nah. <laughs> and again, it's like what Artie was saying um, last time we did this. this was it spank me daddy or whatever? It was, punish me daddy. It's like once you're actually naked, you're not going to put your clothes back on. So like. Do yeah, it's like do you yeah, spend the rest of the night? There, it's like, well, I'm here now, so I guess. Do you spend the rest of the night like everyone else? Na everyone else is like fully dressed, and that one person is naked. I feel like it would just be like a really <laughs> depressing game, even even to play if you got like, if, if like you got to the point where everyone was doing that, it would just be depressing. Everyone would just be sat there just drawing. No one really wants to draw those things, so it's just like, oh god, just two lines and a fucking thing. 
So if we scroll down, so let's begin by going through the basics as you start your life drawing journey. Oh, life drawing, yeah. Uh, to become a champion of Dude to Nude. If you're new, that's fine. Um, I know you might be thinking the anticipation of being confronted with a man or woman utterly naked can, of course, make anyone feel a little apprehensive. But rest assured, life modeling is an empowering experience. This isn't... But if you want to do that, then cool, do life modeling. That's already a thing. Whether you're putting the art into a party. No. Or casually enjoying some intimate moments with a friend or partner. I can't think of at least a less sexy thing to do with my partner. Yeah, this doesn't seem like... Yeah, this this just seems like extra steps. Unnecessary extra steps at that. Also, the other thing is, the other thing is a 60 second mini sand timer. There's no way you're drawing with that much detail in 60 yeah, seconds. No one's drawing anything good in that timer. I've, I've played Jackbox. Like, you, the timers are way too slow. Like, you can't get any detail. And that's with, like, way more than 60 seconds. Yeah. Like, I don't mean to be rude to the creator of this, but, like, I, I genuinely, I would never buy this in a million years because if for some bizarre reason I wanted to play this game, which I'm just going to just disclose now, I don't, because it's just weird. But if there were in a universe where I wanted to play this game and other people did, literally, I would just do it over over like a webcam or something because it's less weird you're not all in the same room like being in the same room together would make that weird in my opinion yeah and like i it just oh wait no sorry actually i'm, I'm noticing now so there's actually only so it says there's like what 32 cards right but they're not just like 32 cards you can do in any stage of closedness there's like eight Wait, no, sorry, there's, well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's 12 cards for green. 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I think it's, so there's 12 for green and 12 for yellow, and then there's 8 for red. And I also mean, like, it's like, if I, it's like I was just on webcam and I was like, all right, guys, I'm going to do the JoJo pose again, and I just fucking JoJo pose with my cock out, and everyone's like, oh, great, we have to draw this again. And also, I mean, like, this game talks about, about oh, this is, it's an artistic thing, it's not a sexual thing, but then the tip for the one that's just, quite, the guy with his cock out, is like, oh yeah, focus on the wood, not the trees. Or like, smoke and ass, add some movement with rubbing fingers. It's like, this isn't, like, pick, if you're going to be a sexual game, then fine. If you're going to be a, just a, a, a life art nudes thing, then fine, but... Don't just like, mark it as is. Like, don't try and pretend like you're not something that you totally yeah. are. I this, mean, the game's called Dude to Nude. You're not tricking anyone. Yeah. This isn't. This isn't like fine art. This is fraternity bros trying to get chicks naked again. This is just just rebranded is a different name. No, this is this is this is all about the artistic process and and embracing the form of the human human body, but also really focus on getting all that cock detail. It, this. There's something about this, once again, that I, I just... I, I don't understand the thought process for some people. So, if you could just kindly scroll down to uh, stretch goals. Okay. Alright. Um, so, if I had to ask you, how much do you think five extra assorted willow charcoal sticks cost? Or how much do you think assorted willow charcoal sticks cost? Um, I reckon they probably be about... I reckon you can get a box of, like, ten for about three or four pounds yeah i don't, I don't think char I, I mean i could be wrong Maybe Holy the market shit. is boomed for that but to get them added to the thing it needs to reach a ten thousand goal so they need to make ten thousand on this product to add five extra into each thing right jesus christ but then stretch goal two is they will just give you more paper <laughs> twenty thousand which uh, uh, papers uh, isn't the craziest fucking thing in the world. Then three is they get early sneak PDF copy of the extreme nudist edition card pack. Again, another game with an extreme edition. Yep, yeah, because uh, clearly the just fully naked ones aren't extreme enough. Like, so like, God I mean, knows what those will have you do. like. Maybe they're just actual sex at that point. So like, Neon, I need to, I need you to get a bit artistic here. If if you can um. If you can stick this dildo up your anus, 
um, and just hold it there, just like for the whole yeah, artistic just hold glory. It there, uh, just just for a minute, just just for a minute while just, I draw it. Just literally, it doesn't need seconds. to be longer than a minute because like I, I, there's only a minute timer on this game. So yeah, I'll really focus on the detail of like the loop. Try and capture that with the charcoal, with the extra charcoal. But th- here's where it gets even worse. <laughs> so even after the extreme thing for forty thousand, they'll add in another ten. Another ten charcoal six. Wait, so if they reach forty thousand, they'll give you another ten sticks. Is that That's ten fifteen extra charcoal sticks? Things is that ten over the original five, or is that like ten including the five? Is that just like another five? I don't know. But then the last thing <laughs> is they give you fucking three extra drawing pads. You generous fuckers! <laughs> How um... generous of you! I get five extra drawing pads for a game that I'm probably ever only going to play once. If, if for some bizarre reason, we make your 50,000 goal. I hate and it. And then, of course, even worse than that is you can buy fucking tote bags. Well, I mean, what's the point? You could just buy fucking tote bags with their logos on. Who wants that? I th- just walking down to Sainsbury's is like, oh, I love your bag. What is it? Oh, this is a do to note. It's a, a drawing game that you can play with your friends and or family uh, where you choose the uh, difficulty of how nude you want to be. And then people draw you and then they will look at you with a weird look and walk away. Hi there, constable. I get really get the impression that like they're running out of ideas because like, OK, what we're going to add, we're going to add more papers. Like what extra stuff can you get? You can get a tote bag or you can get. Well, here's a crazy idea. Why don't they add more fucking poses? The whole game relies on poses. What's wrong with 32 poses? There's only 32 poses you need. Well, if they want to extend the life of the game, like, what, 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 how, how do you extend the life of the game? Do you add more paper and charcoal, or do you add more things for people to draw? <laughs> no, you I add... don't need more charcoal and paper if I've not got more things I need to actually draw. You add more tote bags is what you do. This is what this is what was wrong with um like so many different game releases over the years. They just were missing the tote bags. Honestly, I would honestly rather have uh, a Cards Against Humanity bag that gave me a random print of one of the cards and I'd carry that around happily. Actually, that'd be pretty cool. I'd happily have that. It just they just I'd let them print like I just random buy. Give me a tote bag that just has a random Cards Against Humanity quote just put on there, and then that's it. That's the, that's my fight. Whatever one I get. It's Cards Against Humanity, you're welcome. Um. Yeah. <laughs> this is the second time we've had our own Kickstarter yeah, idea. Yeah, well, this is the second time this. we've accidentally made a good idea from a terrible product that we're looking at. Oh, fuck's sake. Okay. I genuinely... I want that now, but as a t-shirt. Like, I want to be able to go on to Cards Against Humanity and just buy one, and then it randomly gives me one. Because, like, there's that factor of, like, you don't know what you're going to get, so you can actually just get something, like, horrible, and then you own that now. Like, that's it. <laughs> and if anyone asks you, what, why does your t-shirt say that, you say, ah, it wasn't my fault. I also mean, like, this is this is just something as well. It's like, so you're thinking, okay, so where 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 is, like, the home of, like, nude art? So this is from Bristol. <laughs> there's just something about that that just tickles me. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't really have, I didn't really have Bristol in mind when I thought of where this game was based. So next time you're in Bristol, be on the lookout for people with the nude to do them. Um, sorry, nude to nude tote bags, and then you'll know those are the people who you can go and draw with their cock out. <laughs>